The latest deadly mass shooting is once again renewing calls for Congress to pass legislation to end gun violence. Skylar Henry reports from the White House. Flags have been lowered to half staff at the White House in memory of those killed in Wednesday's deadly mass shooting in San Jose. President Biden in a statement urged Congress to take immediate action to end gun violence, saying every life that's taken by a bullet pierces the soul of our nation. We can and we must do more. There's a sameness to this, and that numbness, I think, is something we're all feeling. California's governor, Gavin Newsom, didn't mince his words as he expressed his anger and frustration at yet another deadly shooting. It begs the damn question, what the hell's going on in the United States of America? What the hell's wrong with us? Some members of Congress hope this latest gun violence spurs them into action. The time is now. And I am ready for a vote. But judging by a Senate committee hearing on gun violence in March, the parties remain far apart on this issue. Every time there's a shooting, we play this ridiculous theater where this committee gets together and proposes a bunch of laws that would do nothing to stop these murders. This is a preventable epidemic. We've got to solve it. Chris Brown is the president of the gun control group Brady and says the pressure is on the Senate. What do you think it takes to, to spark some sort of substantial reform? Look, I think we're very close to seeing substantial reform happen, but I think it's going to take an awakening of a few members in the Senate. There have been 62 mass shootings just this month alone, according to Gun Violence Archive which defines a mass shooting as four or more people shot or killed other than the shooter. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.